Welcome to this video on functions calling a salt block. As an example, we'll use the famous Colebrook equation, which is an example of an equation where it is impossible to isolate one of the variables. Here it is if turb. The example itself is not important. We are only using it to demonstrate the method. To solve the equation, given the relative roughness and the Reynolds number, we will use a salt block, which I already have prepared. Here we have provided a guess value for IFTERP. This value is not important as there is always only one solution to the equation. The values for E and RE are the actual values. The salt block will find the value of IFTERP to satisfy the Colebrook equation. And let's see what it is. Now let's delete the assignment of the Reynolds number. Then of course it doesn't work any longer. The trick is to add a parameter to f and make a function out of it. So add re as a parameter. Now let's get outside the salt block. And let's compute f, where we pass the value 10 to the power of 4 to the salt block. And we have exactly the same result as before. We can use this function to compute f -terp for any Reynolds number, given the fixed value of the relative roughness we have here. So let's try f of 10 to the power of 5. We can even draw a graph of f. First, we will define a range of Reynolds numbers. Now we'll insert a plot, an xy plot, Reynolds numbers along the x-axis, and f of re along the y-axis. And let's drag it a bit. We can even do more. We can also delete the assignment of E. Let me take a copy of it first. And then delete it. And add E here. So we have a function of two variables. insert the value for E, and it computes and gives the same result as before. And here we have to add the value of E. Finally, let's see a nice plot of F for various values of the relative roughness factor E using the chart component. This completes the video on functions calling a salt block. Thanks for watching.